Hi everyone and welcome, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to be talking to you about shaker panes, specifically the circular shaker panes. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a like, give us some comments in the comment area down below uh, and we will read them. And make sure that you make, shake and share on Instagram. So let's jump right in. So we will be using these circular uh framelits for the shaker panes here. We also have, uh, you know, square shaker panes. We have heart-shaped shaker panes, and you're gonna be able to see those in some upcoming videos with Jess and Pete. Um, so make sure you have a look at those. But today, as I say, I'm gonna be using the circular ones and just coming up with loads of ideas. Um, and I'm going to be specifically focusing on this one here, which is called Rainbow Joy, because at the moment, this is my favorite one. Uh, to you. So here are the other ones. We have a uh, window box. Really love this one. It's got that sort of like, uh, what's the word? Scalloped edge there, like a loose scallop and all these other little elements as well. And I love that in any die set uh, when we get all those little elements that you can play around with. And this one is Memory Maker. So cool because it's a camera taking snapshots of memories. This one's really great to use with photographs because you can put little photographs inside the camera. What a cool idea. Um, but as I say, I'm going to be working with the Rainbow Joy. So let's jump straight in. Now I have inked a background there. Um, didn't think I need to do this on camera. We all uh, know how to ink. Well, there's loads of videos on our Facebook page or, or on YouTube about how to blend inks like this. So I'm gonna get going with this one. Now I will use the biggest framelit that we have to frame up the inks here and it's worth mentioning just now these are all the different cuts that you get with the um with the circles here so you can see here we've got the concentric circle there which gives us a really cool thick outline of a circle and then we've got the circular elements and who doesn't need framelit circles you know they come in time and time and time and time and time again i think pete well i know pete has got a vlog somewhere where he shows you how to make um shapes and animals and things just using these circles so that's another great reason uh, to have this in your collection now i'm going to cut here i guess that's a great thing about framelit that i like is that i'm good i'm able to kind of search around and find my favorite spot, but I want a bit of white showing, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna include that little bit there. Let's put that through the die cutting machine, through my trusty Big Shot machine. Now I'll just wind this through the machine. And then what I'm left with, with what I'm left with, what I'm left with is my nice die cut circle that's got the ink blend on it. But then I've also got this nice concentric circle, which is the rim around there. I'm not even going to be using that. It's just a really lovely thing to have. So you've got the kind of the circle element and you've got this lovely rim there. I'll just put that to one side in case I do decide to use it later on. Now this is going to be my background um, that all my shaky stuff, uh, my nice sequence of beads is gonna go in front of uh, and it's gonna be really impactful. Now, it's going to go inside this shaker pane. This is actually one of the shaker panes here and what you'll notice straight away is as these kind of orangey rims there. Now, obviously these come off, they won't be on your make, but what they do, it's an adhesive strip that's protected there. Once I peel this off, I can stick my shaker pane to anything. So whereas in the past we've been able to kind of, I mean, it's been a bit difficult adding things to shaker panes uh, because they fall out here, you can add all your shaky stuff and then, and then you can just carry that around till you decide to stick it somewhere. So. The way I'm going to work with it this time is 
I'm going to peel off my protective layers. Now this circle is designed to fit in here, but for this make, I'm using it slightly differently. So here we are. Now I'm going to add, using my uh, adhesive roller, I'm just going to add some strips to here. Just make sure that that's going to be stuck all the way down on here. And I'm going to make sure there's kind of an even rim around. And that was good, the way I did that. Not sure if you can quite see that, but there's a nice even rim around there, which means when I put my shaky stuff in there, it's going to fit perfectly like that. Uh, in fact, I'll do that now. So let's peel off the protective layer here. Only one side. Now I can take my shaky elements. Now, one thing that I think people get, and I'm not, I wouldn't say wrong, but people can be a little bit overzealous with the amount of um, shaky elements. So the amount of sequins, beads, little heart-shaped beads and stars that they put in there. And what happens if you do that, then you can block up the shaker pane and it doesn't allow the bits to shake around as freely as you would like. Um, so there's just a bit of advice. Don't go too mad and have a look at this. I'll shake it this way for that camera, then I'm going to shake it this way for this camera. And the side camera there as well. How cool is that? Now this makes my card interactive now, which means that whoever receives the card is going to be really happy because they get to play with it as well. So, the next bits I will show you, I'm just, I've got my stamp sentiment. Now it comes with loads of little stamp sentiments here. We can see I've gone for the be happy one there, but it's got all those, uh, it's got hello, it's got a nice kind of calligraphy style hello, it's got the sunshine. I love any stamp set that's got different styles of font that you can put together. Absolutely love it. Now I'm going to cut this down and I'm not going to be careful about the, you know, getting a perfect square around there because I like it to kind of fan outwards and be a bit of a, a funky square or what's the word for it? A quadrilateral of some sort. Uh, so there's my sentiment. I will add a tiny bit of foam tape to the back of here because I know that I'm going to want it to stick out a bit later on. So I'll stick that there and we'll put that to one side. Now, here is another of the stamped elements that I'm putting on here. That's that really cool, almost sort of tribal cloud there. I want this as a tattoo. <laughs> I think it's really, really cool. I love that. It's dead happy. It's really illustrative. Love it. So uh, there's a framelit that comes in the set. It's over here. And a framelit means that I get to frame whatever I've stamped, so it makes it easy for me. I can bring my machine back on. I'm going to place that down there, and I'm actually going to use a bit of my maker's tape to hold that in place. So it's not going to go anywhere. Like this. Then I can just roll that through the machine. I've nearly got all of my elements to work with. And then I can just build it up. Another great thing about the, the shaker panes and the die sets, they're almost like a project in a set. You know, you can, you've got the option to choose how to use it or you can use it in the way that it's it's obvious that we use it, you know, by looking at the packaging and things like that. So it is time to start uh, die cutting. So uh, let me, I'm gonna take my card element here, create it myself. And I'm going to, Put my rainbow element. Now, this is an aperture die, which means I've got the benefit of the, the actual strips that come off here, or I can, you know, look through it as a rainbow, and that's what we're going to do today. So let's cut that down like so. And have a look at the way it 
it turns out here. Now, if I had inked this, or if this was colored cardstock, I'd have those bits to work with then. I could create a rainbow with these. We're not doing that today. We're going to be using this really cool aperture, and you can already see how it's going to work if I just place this behind it. Hopefully, you can kind of see that dimension already in action. You know, it, we're looking behind it, we're also looking at that lovely inked scene that I'm framing within the rainbow. So it's really cool. There we go. And actually, I'm gonna cut this again because there's a square here that works as my card front that I can frame the rainbow around. So I know that that's gonna be the perfect size. So let's build that up. Like this. So I'm just gonna add my rainbow down there. I'm gonna make sure I've got some room for me to add my little clouds over there that I created earlier. Place it on the machine. And there we have it. So now I've got the perfect size of card front to be working with. And all we need to do now is to start building the, these things up. Now, I've still got my orange rim around there, which means when I want to, I get to just stick that to the back. Now, that's why I thought it was a great idea to show this rainbow one as well, because um, it's not so obvious. Ooh. It's not so obvious that this is one of the ones that you use the circles with. Um, so thought that'd be a good thing to show. Tear some of my foam tape. I'm gonna add that onto my little stamped cloud. And then I can put these, these are gonna sort of disguise the, the bottom of the rainbow there, but we've got the added dimension coming up. That's something I really like to do on any kind of paper craft make really is to have layers and layers of dimension. I just think it, it makes everything really interesting. So here we can already see that the clouds stick up. So we've got the shadow behind the clouds, but we're also going to have the shadow behind this lovely rainbow aperture. Now I can take my protective layer off here. like this, and I'll just stick that. I'm gonna place that over there. Now what this does, and one of the reasons that the shaker panes are so cool, is that it's turned it into a shaker card, yeah, but I've not had to use the whole area or you know foam tape around here to make sure no bits are getting out. Another thing that happens when you use foam tape to stop those bits kind of escaping around the edges is that they will stick to the side of the foam tape and that means that you're gonna kind of eventually run out because it'll start sticking to the side. So all I need to do now is just add on my sentiment like this. So again, you can see that I'm starting. Oh, look, look at that. I'm so proud of that because that's if that was just a square there, yeah, it would look really cool, but it's not. I've snipped it diagonally, so it's kind of an off rectangle, uh, and I think it creates a load of liveliness to the make there. So all that's left to do now is just stick this onto my card front. Before I do that, I'm gonna stick down some of our uh, glitter card. This is from the Silver Opulent set. And that's just gonna tie in all those shaky elements. And I'm actually gonna, again, add even more liveliness by tilting that to one side. And I will just cut along here so that I've got a nice straight card front. And then, finally, I can stick this down uh, using, again, I use this all the time. This takes, takes all of the hard work out of gluing things down. And there we are. 
So there is my card front. And how cool is that? So again, we've got the dimension of the clouds, the shadow underneath there. We've got further dimension when you look into it. So we've got that lovely inked background that that aperture of the cloud is showing. We have the layer of acetate there from the shaker pane and we've got the dimension of that um, sentiment there, which I've cut in an off rectangle. But to top it all off, when someone receives this, they're gonna get it, they're gonna look at it time and time again, and they're gonna shake it like this. So, brilliant. Now, before I go, I'm going to show you a load of the other makes that I've created using the sets that come with the, as part of something you should be using with the circular shaker pane. So, uh, let's start with different types of the rainbow. So, we've got, these are all the different rainbow ones. There we are. We've got some shaky stuff in there and it's the same sort of concept just with different colors. Here's a really lovely simple one where I've used those die cut bits, not just the apertures. Love that with all those different um, versions of the opulent cardstock. And then again, just a nice composition. Then, ooh, put that one over there. Then we've got some of those um, cameras from the Making Memories set. And this one's brilliant because you can choose to make it all poppy or you can go old fashioned um, with a nice kind of multi-tonal brown card like this. And then finally, we have different versions of that lovely uh, scalloped edge, nice, I don't know what I'd call that, a scalloped edge circular shape uh, with those lovely stamps that go on there. And this one comes with those florals too. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it useful and I hope you have uh, gotten some inspiration from it. I'd love to see what you guys come up with at home. Remember, if you enjoyed the video to give us a like, any questions you have at all, put them in the comments and we'll be really, really happy to read them and to answer them. Uh, and again, just make sure that you make, shake and share. And I'll see you next time.